Hello internet people! So you're wondering, which WordPress theme should I use? Well, in this video I'll explain my 5 step process of how to choose a theme for a WordPress website. Arnie, can you show the audience what they can expect? The riddle of steel. Tip, sweat, punch. So just a quick reminder that a WordPress theme is just a website template with a certain layout and design. Now most themes can be heavily customized, especially with the drag and drop page builders like Elementor. There are free themes and premium themes. Now if you have a specific industry or type of a website that you are creating, such as dentist, cafe, a software company, then I would just directly go for a premium theme because you have much more industry specific tools included in the theme such as, I don't know, appointment scheduler for a dentist or a table reservation for cafes. You will get more features and just save so much time using a premium theme. So at least when the bad guys show up, this won't be your excuse. I was building my theme. On the other hand, if you're setting up a blog or personal website, then you'll be fine with just a free theme. And for the free themes, you can check out my two favorite ones, OceanWP and Astra. Links are in the description. But these you can install directly in your WordPress dashboard under appearance and add new theme. So you can just search them there. Next, let me show you my five step process of choosing a WordPress theme. Step one, make a list of features you would like to have. So think what is your goal with your website. Let's use a dentist as an example because everybody can imagine what their goal with the website is. A dentist might want visitors on the website to book appointment, uh, maybe see contact details, maybe show services, prices, right? So that means for features we want appointment booking digit, easy to find and use contact details, and maybe uh, a price page or a price table. But be careful, if you're too expensive, your customers will be like this. La 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 la. Oh. Step two is to search for your industry and view results. Now head to Theme Forest you can go there by scrolling down in the description of this video and clicking on this first link. If this video helps you to decide to purchase something, I would appreciate it if you can use this link because I get a small commission from the sale and you help to support this channel. And there is no extra cost to you. This will bring you to Theme Forest and just here search for Dentist. And you can see you have a lot of options here. So now what I usually do, I just come here, I right click on this and open a new tab. I like what I see already here. I just look at these and this one looks also good. This one is a bit off, doesn't look what I'm looking for. And this one uh, looks good. So I go through this process and I pick five to 10 websites like this. Hey, if you liked the video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Step three, check the theme demos. For each of these themes, you need to check the demo site because it's so much easier to start a website if you have some structure already in place. And you mostly need to change the text and color. So let's take a look at a few dentist websites. And then you go inside of the, one of the options and here you can click on live preview. It will open up a new tab. And here usually you can select which of the demos you want to see. So they usually have many options. So let's say I'm going to go with this. Alan, just click on it. Arnie, which theme did you choose? Mac, 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 Mac. Remember your goal for the website. You're looking if the demo theme has features you want and that it looks more or less like you want it to look. And now I'm going to look for those features I mentioned before. So I want to have some uh, nice appointment booking engine. This looks nice. Email, which dentist you want to have and the date. Uh, also has a services section, which is good. And how do I see contact details? Here they have a nice contact us even working hours. I like this one. The, it looks really professional. And one more thing, don't forget to check that the website looks good on mobile. So you can do that by right clicking on the website anywhere and then selecting inspect element. And you have an icon here at top, looks like a tablet or mobile, just click on it. You will see this site again in mobile. 
you might want to refresh it just because sometimes it doesn't work properly first time but when you refresh it it works and this is how you would see this theme on mobile so it's super important that you also double check that it looks great oh my god wow oh my god my name is robert and i'm your website guy if you're looking to learn more about how to improve your website get more traffic and other website related stuff consider subscribing so you don't miss out on anything step four eliminate options that don't fit your needs while looking at the demos just close the tabs with themes that don't match your criteria do this until you have like two or three options that you're happy with step five decision time in short look at the theme layouts reviews the popularity of the developer and price and based on these the last step is to make a decision for me the most important criteria for a theme is that it fits my layout and feature needs. After that, I make sure that the theme has some reviews and sales. So usually I just start looking at the page on theme first. I check reviews for these themes. For this one, there's not that many th reviews. It actually just has five, which is quite low amount. But then again, this theme just came out in 2020. So maybe they're still looking for it. That doesn't usually stop me. What I look for is that they have some sales also, I like to check if the developers of the theme are active. If they are, that means the theme will probably get updates and they provide a support in case you have any issues with the theme. So you can see here these icons, for example, in this case, they sell for more than 2 million on, uh, on this marketplace. And that means they're very active. Uh, you can see that uh, you can click on view portfolio and then you'll see more themes from these guys they're clearly professionals they're doing a lot of different things here you can check if the developers are active by looking at the update log and another thing you can look at is how often the the theme gets updated and that's usually in the here if you scroll down they usually have at the bottom here at the bottom usually they have something like this which is update log and you can see that it gets updates time to time so this one 25th of May doesn't seem like after that it's been updated although it does say here but I don't think that's true and obviously I also look at the price although there is not that much difference if you think about it in the bigger picture the more expensive the theme the more features it has this process might take a few hours but once you have theme that you're happy with just add it to your basket and purchase it you can just pick the regular license you won't probably need the extended license unless you're planning to sell this theme to other people. And once you buy the theme from ThemeForest, I have a video showing you how to install it in your WordPress. It will appear right here. And if you don't have a web hosting yet, then check out this video here where I compare my favorite web hosts.